Uh, good evening from the walks where it's finished Kingsland Town nil, Boreham Wood 3. I don't really know where to start with this one, to be absolutely honest with you. Perfect night for football. Lynn really trying to shake off that, uh, the effects of that 5 0 defeat at Solihull on Saturday. Started quite well, first couple of minutes, but they really were under the cosh for most of the game. A quick rundown the goals. Matt Reed, you may remember Matt Reed, big lad, plays up front, helped Lincoln from their rise from non league up to League One and in the semi finals, quarter finals of the FA Cup, I believe, as well. Now, he was a constant thorn in the Linnet side. As you expect, he's a really big lad up front, uses his head well. He'd had one header which Archie Mayer had done really well to keep out, another header which he somehow managed to screw wide. But eventually he got his foot, not his head, to a ball from the right and they were ahead. That was, if I may refer to my notes, after 28 minutes. Kabongo Shimanga. Now he is quick, lightning quick. He was put through, got into the area, Archie Mayer came out, took him out, penalty, bang, straight down the middle, 2-0. Fulham game started earlier, probably, I think it was, when Jamal Loza was booked. Nothing much in that, a bit of a silly booking. I can really see if it was actually worthy of the word booking. But late in the half, he was booked again. Similar sort of thing, basically he's just running next to the player and the player falls down. You've seen it all the time. Now, Jamal Loza, very innocent, he gets uh, booked, wanders off. Nobody seems to really realise, apart from a few people, he starts to work through the brain cells of a few people, that it actually it's his second booking, he should be sent off. It took the referee, Mr Swallow, a good three minutes before he realised as well, he went and had a word with the assistant linesman and uh, assistant referee, sorry, and uh, then he said to Jamal Loza, sorry lad, you've got to go off. Now, truth is, Lynn didn't miss him because he was so ineff ineffective, it was, it, it was a poor, poor display by him. Um, but he wasn't alone, one or two others didn't really lighten up the first half at all. Second half was clearly about damage limitation. Um, and I have to say, I did really think that Lynn worked so hard to keep the scoreline down. It could have been terrible. Um, they could have been much worse off at half-time, obviously. But they worked very hard. Two banks of four. Ian Culverhouse admitted after the game that really, you know, it was a, <laughs> they weren't going to retrieve the situation. So, you know, that's why he put on a few subs. That's why Southwell went off. That's why Marriott came back on. Well, came on, sorry. Um, now, Shimanga, he scored the third after 63 minutes. He got put through. Aaron Jones, who'd had a great little running battle with Reed, by the way, in the first half, um, went in for a challenge. The guy shot Shimanga, and it hit Jones, looped over Archie Mayer, 3-0, game over. I mean, we thought it was over anyway, but it really was game over. A bit unfortunate on Lynn because, as the manager says, this is the side, Boreham Wood, that finished fifth last season and got knocked out on the playoffs. And this is not the sort of team that Lynn are comparing themselves with. It's Weymouth on Saturday, who were also promoted, like Lynn were, that they need to take points off. You could tell from sitting up in the stands quite easily that Boreham Wood are a full-time outfit. And their manager was actually talking to us afterwards, saying, look, you know, I can see shades of us because... This was us before we went full time. So he knew the difference. He had a lot of sympathy with Ian Culverhouse. And, and frankly, I think I do too. Um, it was a tough night at the office. That means eight goals conceded in two games after the 5 0 at the weekend. So it's not easy at the moment for Lynn. Also conceded three penalties, I think, now this season. One outstanding performance tonight was Archie Mayer, the goalkeeper, on loan from Norwich City. You can see why Norwich wanted him. I feel very sorry for Alex Street, I really do, because he's not done much wrong. Funnily enough, tonight he wasn't even on the bench. He sat near us in the stands. He didn't have a goalkeeper on the bench. Uh, so, tough times. Hopefully, hopefully, it will come right at the weekend. Uh, but from now, sorry, I've got a report. 3-0. Join me again. I might not go to Weymouth. It's too far. See you soon. Bye.